What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I hope everyone is having an amazing Saturday, folks. It's the weekend. There is no better time than that. I got an amazing video lined up for you. We're going to talk about superheroes, motivation, ripples, IPO, and my prediction. The XRP good old days in a $1 trillion market cap, which is coming to XRP very very soon then we got an update a major update on the ripple versus sec case coming in from Stu alderati i got the document pulled up we're going to talk about that we got some juicy information in there and then we're going to hit the xrp chart because we are closer than we have ever been so sit back relax and let's jump into a bitcoin twenty five thousand eight hundred and ninety six dollars it's currently down 0.57 percent in the past 24 hours ethereum one thousand six hundred and thirty nine dollars it's currently down 0.43 percent usdt and USDC back at the dollar pegs, which is always a good sign as XRP is coming in at a mean lean. I mean, it's 50 cents. It's now 1.4%. Total cryptocurrency market cap is 1 trillion and 49 billion. Now, if you don't follow along my NFT project, one of the longest lasting NFT projects that actually have a true purpose and true utility on the XRP ledger, you need to jump in. You need to follow. You need to get involved. Almost 200 and something holders of this project each earning back 30 percent every single month paid to them in xrp this month's theme it's superheroes folks check out these beautiful pictures they're only 165 bucks each 330 xrp we paid back last month a total of I think it was 28,000 XRP. If my numbers are correct, the links are below. If you're looking to get into an NFT project that has utility, that is gonna keep paying you back each and every single month just for holding, you get airdropped on the first of the month, this is the project you wanna be in. It is mine, it is my project. Now, let's talk about a little motivation. Claim Candy, a cattle, said this. Only a small pebble on this rocky road of investing. Keep them awesome videos coming that keep me motivated. You got it, my friend. There is no doubt about it. I will. We are so close. I will be here through this journey, through all-time highs, through financial freedom, through life-changing gains, and I will be here after that. I am not going anywhere. I am out there to help the everyday person. I am out there to motivate and to keep everyone focused. We get this Ripple IPO. Here's my prediction. Could be wrong, could be right. 50 50. I'm thinking, and my brother said the same thing to me. They're probably announcing their IPO September 29th. Let's see what happens. Time will obviously tell, folks, but I have a good feeling about this one, to be honest with you. And this is all going to play into where this video is going and the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit update I'm about to give you. I showed us in the last video, the good old days, $3.11 for XRP. You are going to see this very, very soon. You are going to see this price a lot higher than this. Remember, we have bull runs to make up for, and that will happen. We have to make up for the 2017 bull run when the SEC decide to attack us. We need to make up ground in this bull run as well. And it's about to go down. Not the 2017, excuse me. The bull run that went down the last cycle where the SEC dropped the lawsuit. I was back in, what was it, 2020, 2021? Right around that time frame. We need to make up ground for that. 2017 XRP was part of the bull run. We got a 36,000% rise. We're about to see something crazy like that. Maybe a 50X, right? XRP, $24.13. Puts it a little over a trillion dollar market cap. Bitcoin can have a trillion dollar market cap. Ethereum's gonna have a trillion dollar market cap. Why can't XRP, the only asset within the US with regulatory clarity, why can't it have a trillion dollar market cap? Ask yourself that question. It could, and it will, folks. We get this from Whalewire. Ripple, the company behind the cryptocurrency XRP, says the court should deny the SEC's request for one uh, request for for appeal as I catch up with my ticker. Sudarati chimes in. Here's the SEC versus Ripple update you need to know about because this is big. Ripple just filed its opposition to the SEC's request for an interlocutory and interim appeal. Worth the read of my opinion, especially the footnotes. Footnote 5 is one of my personal favorites. As we scroll down, Cowboy Crypto put this out. The court did not rule in the SEC's favor on all issues. In response, the agency is now rushing to appeal what it claims is a purely legal question. 
applicable to every digital asset case, but the SEC's latest shift of litigation positions to further its desired goals. Like its earlier one shows, no allegiance to the law. ECF number 531 at 6, the exceptional circumstances required for interlocutory appeal are absent. First, the court summary judgment order does not present a controlling question of law suitable for the appeal. Second, the supposed substantial ground for disagreement is merely the SEC's dissatisfaction with the court's application of Howey to most of the defendant's transactions in XRP. And third, the SEC concedes that protracted litigation is necessary regardless of whether its requested interlocutory appeal succeeds, meaning certification has no chance of ha harnessing the end of this litigation. Independently, the court should also deny the SEC's request for a stay. The SEC has not even attempted to meet the standard for a stay, even after the individual defendants identified that omission in their pre-motion letter. The individual defendants write separately to oppose the SEC's request. Ripple joins that opposition. We jump over to the actual document. We read bullet or point cliff note five. The SEC states it does not seek appellate review of any holding relating to the fact that the underlying asset here are nothing but computer code with no inherent value. The court made no such ruling. To the contrary, undisputed evidence established XRP's inherent utility as a bridge currency to facilitate cross-border payments. See ECF number 825 at 7. Instead, the court found that an XRP token is not in itself an investment contract because it does not in itself meet Howey requirements. Interesting, right? Because the SEC isn't appealing the actual XRP token itself. They gave up on that. What the SEC is seeking here is for Brad and Chris to pretty much, they want them to pay a fine because they want them to pay their legal fees. That's what we're looking at. But let's jump over to this beauty. Who remembers this? She's Berla five years ago from Payments Canada where he slipped up talking about Amazon and Amazon being a partner and talking about cross-border payments. Who remembers this clip? Listen to this segment. To a lot of our customers, uh, around the world and and I was surprised that even large customers it takes them three to five days to get the payment where listen to what he just said in the beginning we tell a lot of our customers from around the world he's telling you what they're telling your customers listen to the slip up here about Amazon just so you can know how close we really are and you could hear him choke up because he clears his throat it's kind of one of those things we do in a presentation you say something you shouldn't say and then what goes through your mind is oh shit i shouldn't have said that and you clear your throat and that there's that awkward moment of silence listen to this it needs to be and uh, you know this was the case of uh, amazon uh, paying merchants cross border and taking weeks for that payment to arrive <clears throat> five percent of payments fail did you catch it? Did you catch what he said? Talking to all customers from around the world, this was the case of Amazon paying people cross-border, folks. It's coming. We all know what's coming. Do you want to go back to the earlier point of the parabolic blow-up top being above $24? Could you imagine we're in the midst of a bull run? XRP gets that $350, $450 mark. XRP then pushes up to $6. We kind of hang out. We chill there. Everyone thinks it's over. Next thing you know, Amazon and Ripple come out and announce a partnership that XRP is going to be the backbone of Amazon so they can pay their merchants from around the world. You want to talk about a blow up top and this thing getting up to that $20, $24 range? That's what's going to happen. That's how this is going to play out. Using the traditional uh, wire system, you know, Seagate, one of, uh, one of our investors and customers, uh, they have to pay hardware manufacturers around the world. And they told us a big problem is that they don't even know where a payment fails. And this happens 5% of the time for their cross-border payments. Seagate, another massive partner talking with Ripple. They don't even know where the payments fail 5% of the time. Could you imagine 5% of the time you do a Google search and your Google search fails you? It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable to send money and to not know when it's going to get there. That's going to take three to five days. That you don't know how much money is going to get there. That you don't have any tracking on it. It's not acceptable. 
Ashish Burla dropped the biggest breadcrumbs. You want to talk about a potential blow off top? This is your potential blow off top. And to top that all, to top it all off, now we have the fact that XRP is the only currency within the United States that has clarity. What does that mean? That means that Amazon can announce that they are using XRP because they know it's not a security. That XRP can now legally be held and used. Think about that. Here's the run up. I want you to picture the run up with me. Boron gets started. We start to see extra price, XRP's price move in 2024, right? We get to that $3.50 to that $4.50. If we bust up to $6, we start going sideways for a little bit. We start chilling. People start getting nervous like, oh, this is it. This is the end of it. Where XRP is really just taking a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a rest, right? People start selling off. There's a little bit downward pressure. People see it go down 5%, 10%. They get nervous. But me and you were sitting back. We're waiting for that blow off parabolic top that we know is coming. Boom. Amazon hits. Announce that they're going to start using XRP to certain corridors to get it started, to get the party going. Next thing people see, Amazon's using XRP. Institutions line their pockets. Retail investors are jumping back in, lining their pockets. This thing blows up to the top, $20, $24. Me and you were sitting back and laughing, and we're going to remember this video that Ripple Van Winkle made on September 2nd because, folks, this is coming to you. All you have to do is hold. We are so close to that finish line. I can taste it. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.